Hello again, my friends, and you are my friends, and welcome to, yes, a Saturday night talking town. I'm laughing because we're... The comment in the chat that just came through, just as I clicked the live button from Stephen Parry, was my granddad loved tripe. What a great comment to start the show off on. What it, well, it wasn't tripe yesterday evening, ladies and gentlemen. It was a bit frightening at times, but town recording a 1-0 victory. Watford, I've, I've learned in my life not to rely on Watford, but they, they came through yesterday in the end. 2-2 two, two draw with Leeds. Bristol City beat Leicester. There's a town sitting top of the table as we head into Easter Monday's fixtures. And I want to hear what you're thinking this evening. Thoughts, feelings, comments on yesterday, comments on Southampton that is on the horizon. Uh, all of those absolutely wonderful, wonderful things are welcome. If you're watching on Catch Up because you're busy on a Saturday night, how dare you be busy on a Saturday night? But if you are on Catch Up, FTA, comment for the algorithm. And don't forget, we are sponsored by or partnered with, rather, not sponsored by, partnered with Match Bingo. Play Match Bingo, win cash prizes. Our man, Sean, talking town viewer, Sean, has been winning some lovely Brucey bonuses on the Match Bingo. How your players on your screen, which are online, download the Bingo app to your phone, your tablet, choose your matches, two pounds of bingo card, free bingos. Sean's in the money. So be like Sean. Over 18, be gamble aware. And each time you play, don't forget, you are also contributing to the crucial work of the East Anglian Air Ambulance. So a good thing to play. Over 18s only. Be gamble aware. ITFC Beard, member for a month. Welcome in. He's also gifted a Talking Town membership this evening. Again, ITFC Beard. He was doing that last night. He's doing it again tonight. We love you. Thank you very much for supporting the platform. We truly appreciate it. The legend is... that. Well, we can't call him the Stone Market legend anymore. He is the Sky Sports legend because Sky Sports cameras find AD Croucher. AD, whoever you know at Sky Sports... Pay them another £20, mate, because they continue to find you in the crowd. Good to see you there supporting the Mighty mighty Blues. How did you see the performance? Who stood out for you? Colin says, Burgess back on Monday night. I might I might suggest everyone. Good shout. I'm sure the Cruncher, who is back from his holidays, will probably echo those thoughts. I don't know, though. Norman Greenwald. Yes, it's like, more impressive. Now we, are, now we know an illness bug has impacted the squad. Yeah, Leaf. Davis, uh, do I hear a little bit of um, uh, illness there? Hopefully, he's, he's good to go on, on Monday. Kev Hansen, a few I can come from behind the sofa. It's a full day since the torture, but wouldn't it be town without some evening torture, would it? Absolutely not. Right, joining me this evening is a man who's been here, uh, well, because he never leaves his own, his own postcode. It's Matthew Phillips. Matthew, welcome in. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm very well. Did you? Uh, you don't leave your postcode, but there are, there are obviously a football available in, in, in Chelmsford area. Did you manage to catch any football today at all? Well, Chelmsford City are high flying. They beat Dartford four one yesterday, so they're going to be in the playoffs. But I watched some Bundesliga today. I watched Frankfurt versus Union Berlin, which actually ended up nil nil, but wasn't a bad second half. But the big news out of the Bundesliga, which Ipswich fans might be interested in, is our friends at Fortuna Düsseldorf. Also, they come over in January, don't they? When they've got the winter. The winter they break in Germany, and they're they're sitting third at the moment. They're battling Hamburg to try and get that third place, which would mean the playoff with the team that finishes third bottom in the in the Bundesliga. So they're 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 nicely poised for that. And this week they're playing Bayer Leverkusen, who look like they're going to win the Bundesliga under Xavi Alonso. They've got them in the German Cup semi final. So oh, wow, you know, they, they make such an effort to come over here. And I know, I know actually, I think AD Croucher and a few are going over for their last game of the regular season against Magdeburg in middle of May. But yeah, good things going on for Fortuna Dusseldorf. So good luck to them. Do you know what I mean? Good luck to them. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. full. So you didn't catch a, a local game, but you did watch the Bundesliga this afternoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did okay. Know. Fair play. I know you, you like your Bundesliga. Uh, yeah. I've never seen, I don't think I've seen a minute of it in the last five You're missing out. 10 possibly longer but um yeah one of the most popular leagues in the world okay fair play yeah. take your word for that uh yeah. i wonder if this man saw any any foot knowing this man he probably did go and find some football pitch somewhere on the island because <laughs> you know it is like yeah. matt he'll watch anything if it's got a ball involved it is of course richard moss richard did you I'm manage bad. to catch any football good you evening by the way uh by leverkusen matt they won another two late goals to their seat. Yeah. 2 1. Oh, yeah. they're a bit like Ipswich Town. Lucky Ipswich Jammy. Town. Lucky Leverkusen. They, they haven't lost the game at all in any, in any competition. Oh, Munich. <laughs> Munich lost tonight to Dortmund 2 0. Title over. Did I watch any football when I was away? I watched England versus Brazil. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Did you stay um, awake for that? 
Other than that, I see the penalties in the Wales playoff game. Thankfully, Craig Chapman phoned me on WhatsApp on the video call and put it on the screen so I could watch that. I see Kiefer's penalty, Matt, still I rising. As I watched he, uh, that on... Uh, oh, my God, oh, my God, that was an unbelievable pen. I watched that on S4C in Welsh language. Oh, I'm, I'm a Phillips after all, right? I must have some you, Welsh DNA in me somewhere. Can you must... talk Welsh? No, you but I felt English. comfortable watching it. I felt comfortable. <laughs> Gonna have Fair a enough. DNA test, see where I land. Yeah. One of those, you, you can get one of those, you know, find out, you know, where from yeah. over the world your DNA is made up. Oh, it's a bit lumpy. It's like 50 quid or something, but. 50 it. notes? Yeah, that's put you right off, isn't it? <laughs> too bloody right. I need a few. I need a few more four ninety nine a month before I can <laughs> go and get a fifty pound DNA test. Good yeah, lord! Yeah. Get Rich, super you stickers have... in everyone. Get super Absolutely. stickers in. Come What's my is <laughs> DNA? We need to know. <laughs> well, it's at the moment it's promotion because that's what's in the DNA of Ipswich Town Football Club. And uh, I made some rare Discord appearances this morning, Richard Moss. I thought of I you. I did see that. Really? Thought of you, I was doing it. He made some red oh, Discord man. appearances, but you two couldn't step up in the week for the BBC, could you? So I had to get up off me, no, out me bed on me holidays at half five in the morning. Yeah. Talking to the BBC, I thought I'll be really fancy. I've got a lovely green screen out my hotel window with this palm tree in the background. And then I had to be told, can you take that down, please? And can we have a normal background? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> if you're not seeing it, get on the uh, BBC iPlayer, the football fan show. I was on there. And I was on there. Also, was Paul Robinson was on there, Matt, and Wes Morgan. So they had all the they had all the big hitters out then. There you go. And the crunch up. Yeah. yeah, and then there's you. Good. Well, it was good. They really wanted me. Um, but there we go. We'll leave that. For... <laughs> I'm surprised <laughs> you don't you don't pack the uh, the shirts just in case you get called into action. I had you know? three shirts. I had three shirts with me, mate. Pops one on. Much. Got up early as well. Could go and grab a sunbed mat, which always helps. You know, a lot of people about about quarter past six in the morning. Really? On holiday? Yes. I hate that. I hate that people grabbing sunbeds and that noise. You've, you've the done one good thing. The, already, thing. the one good thing. The one good thing in Jamaica, there was no Germans. Any with Germans watching? No, easy, easy, easy. You done? All, have you done all your just... washing already? For out of the suitcase? Have you done it? You don't leave it, do you? Like I straight would. in, straight in when I got in. Straight suitcase in. was empty in the washing. How many how many loads? Uh, about three. I didn't really wear. I, you know, when you go on holiday, you always take too much, then you? I had loads of clothes that I didn't wear. So, um, My, mine was sitting in a suitcase for about a week until I'd started. No, you got to get it empty, Matt. Get back to normal. Get back to normal. And then I run you on um, Friday night, and it was about six degrees. I was walking the dogs. Yeah, you were moaning, down. You? <laughs> yeah, it was freezing. Reality. And then um, yesterday, yeah. I was, spent the uh, day in lovely Blackburn. What a lovely part of the world. Darwin. It's nice up there, especially when you come back with three points. Oh, well, this is it. Yes, yeah, three points. Um, you know, points over performance at this stage of the campaign. Yeah, and, it, and we're now sitting top of the table, gentlemen, as we enter to Easter Monday. And, and Rich, you obviously there. We'll start with you. How did you see yesterday's performance? Because it wasn't vintage town, but it was um, well successful. Venture, yeah, but I agree with you course. now. It's like it's like you say. It's business end of the season, and they interviewed when they interviewed Leaf and Chaplin after, and the, the lady said to him about like performance doesn't matter and he says yeah it does because they obviously they're quite critical of themselves don't they the players they want to you want to play well and you want to win but as a fan you know there last night and I think we'll, we'll go through the game but if you look at it overall first off for, for 25 minutes I thought we were really good well in control of the game and then I just thought we got sloppy and I thought we need a bit of a kick up the backside uh probably got lucky with look it is offside is Alaki saving the goal? No, he's not. No. So that's just one of them things. We had a little bit of luck. You need a bit of luck. We should have had a penalty. We know that. We'd probably talk about that as well. And then second half, I thought we come out and we started well for the first 10 minutes. And then after that, I mean, blimey, it was um, it was watching. I, look, I, I, I guess like you boys at home, it was a hard watch. Uh, in the stadium, it was like, it was watching through your fingers at some times, you know. But if you look at the overall game, they didn't create many chances, Blackburn. They had a lot of the ball. We'll obviously talk about Halaki's save. I mean, we'll probably come <laughs> on to that. But it was one of them ones where, look, you've got to the final whistle and you've got the three points. And I said to Matt on the way home, it was like for about two minutes afterwards, when McKenna and the players come over, I couldn't talk. I literally couldn't talk. I, I, I was a bit choked. You know, you're singing with top of the league. You're thinking where we've come from. You know, we've got seven games to go. It's just one of them moments and you think, blimey, when, when is this actually going to end? And when are we going to wake up to reality? You know, I've seen before, before I come on, Matt, I see um, a little bit, 
uh, from Stuart Watson's Twitter, and there was a post on there done not that long ago. It was a person in the North Stand doing a crossword back in the day when the stadium was half empty. Listen, this is what it was like. <laughs> you know, you have to remember. You do. What it was. You remember do. the bad to have the good, you know, because we had some absolutely stinking times. And now, who knows where this is going to end? Will it end in promotion? Possibly, you know, we're in a great position now. But just enjoy it. And whatever happens, you know, these players and the management, they just deserve all the credit in the world at the end of the season. Whatever happens. Yeah, absolutely. And talking about Stuart Watson there, Matt, I think he tweeted out this evening with, with equaled John Lyle's points total from, from, from that, was that fantastic season with three or four points short of Burley's points four. total. Four, thank you very much. Um, oh, that, that story's got promoted under Burley. You know, and, and there's still many, well, I say many, there's still a, a good fair few number of games to go. So this team could easily uh, eclipse both of those points totals. And which is right, it's a journey. And when, when is it going to win? I had my moment this morning when I was up at 5 a.m. and I saw the championship table on BBC Sport and it said town top 39. And I thought, 39? <laughs> this late in the season, town at top? Hang on, wait. That don't, that, that don't feel right. That, that, wow. That, that was my way crashing moment, if you like of emotion yeah absolutely I saw, I saw a friend of mine today chris who sports leads and uh he was sitting on a park bench every his lunch and he goes to me when are you going to bugger off <laughs> meaning it, it was just doing the plymouth thing as we keep saying yeah um you know everyone thought it was going to be less to lease didn't they but there we are we sit top and like you said rich on the phone last night we go into april april with, um, you know four weeks of the season to go to say to, to with us top of the table Look, it's going to be twists and turns, right? We've got a tough game Monday. Then we go into the East Anglian derby with, against Norwich, who have been pretty phenomenal at home. We have to admit it. The facts don't lie. They've been very good at home. If there's a manager, going to gonna, if, the, if there's a manager that that can burst that bubble, I think it's going to be Kieran and this set of players. Shellacking you, incoming. The sh yeah, I, I won't lie until uh, we'll come to this. When, we'll come to this Wednesday night when you're away. By the way. Yeah, 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 I'm getting it in now. Shellacking yeah, incoming. Shellacking. We're, we're actually going to, yeah, three points are coming our um, way. I'm confident. You know, it's so close now, isn't it? What is it? Seven games to go. But I was on that Leeds pod uh, uh, earlier in the week, and um, but I still had Leicester finishing top. I thought they might lose to Bristol City. I still had them finishing top with 99 points. Leeds on 97. I was and I was fairly conservative on our on our return. I said to him, "You're a bit. You're always a bit tougher on your own kid, aren't you?" I thought we might draw the, the, these next three games, including Blackburn, but we've got that three-point return already. And I had us finishing on about 94 points. Listen, someone's going to get disappointed. Someone's going to finish on 90-plus something and going to get disappointed. Is it going to be us? I don't know. I, I said to those Leeds lads, there's always been something about McKenna, the fact that he lost so few games in, in League One. We've only lost five hits. That's nine league games across two seasons as we sit here talking right now. I don't know this, and you know the sliding door moments. Rich, you know the two 0 down against Chef Wed could have been three. We get it back to two two. Chef Wednesday then fall apart. We go on that huge tear where we can score. You look at yesterday, Matt. Your goals. If you look at yesterday's sliding doors moments in the Bristol City game, the Vardy miss. <laughs> yeah, that Vardy oh, miss. Keeper pass out yeah. to centre half. You know that one. Yeah. The Halaki moment. You know when he when he's dispossessed by Smolik. It's it's such small margins. Yeah, massive. That these seasons massive are, small. Are, are massive are for probably, small margins. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, decided on. And I did say, I think it was after the Plymouth or before the Plymouth game, I thought we needed to win. I think it was 9 out of 12 then. That would have took us to 99, Matt. Wow. Martin. And you know, now, we're tonight, we're sitting 84. Five more wins, <laughs> yeah. get you to 99. You know, five yeah. wins from seven, and I think we're probably more than capable of that when you think... A big, a big ask when you've done eight from nine, though. That's still quite a big ask, I think. Well, yeah, but it's just like this is this is akin to last season at the run that we went on. Yeah, it it, it, against it just, better opposition. Yeah, and our Leicester, like Martin predicted, you know, a little bit earlier yeah, and like last where does season. Where did Martin get these predictions from? That's what I want to know. I think he just throws it out there, and if it, it comes is, yeah. right, you know, he's looking yeah. good at right. the it's, it's, I'm one for one at the moment. I'm looking at two. It could be two for two. It could be two for two. But I mean, yeah, I think if yeah. we're all being in all seriousness, did anybody see Leicester taking? I think it's four points from six games. Yeah, man. I mean, and losing five. They've lost five games. And I mean, they've got Norwich Monday. And I mean, we, we'll talk about the game probably, the, obviously, on Wednesday night, the Norwich game. But Norwich can do us a massive, massive favour, Matt, on Monday. And that will stick right in their fans' throats. That could be. Because they yeah, could hand Ipswich a massive advantage. They could do. Yeah, Not saying they're going to, but it could 
the way they're playing at the minute and the way Leicester are playing, you know, still loads of loads of twists and turns. Is to that a, there is. Is that a three pm kickoff? That one. Twelve thirty. So TV. that's on Sky as well, is it? Yeah. Wow. So we know what we, well, we know we want to win, yeah. obviously, but we, we'll, we'll know how the landscape is by, by the time we kick off at half five, won't we? I mean, what leads is after that? Yeah, that's yeah. eight. It's Hull. Yeah. And Hull need to win that because Hull have lost, I think, the last two. Yeah. And their playoff, right. their playoff hopes are like hanging by a thread. So they lose to Stoke for crying out loud. It's, it's, this is it's what happens. This stage, stage of the season. This is, this is just what happens, you know? Yeah. Well, it ain't happening to us, though, is it, at the moment? Touch wood, it's not. And it gets to that point where people keep, I keep seeing people about and about and various family members at weddings, etc. They keep saying, you know, so are you going to do it? And how can you get to this point of the season and not just sort of put your, 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 your trust and your belief in this group of players and say, yeah, we are going to do it? Like, because we're 39 games in, it's hitting top of the table. This isn't August, is it? This isn't late October. It isn't, you know, it's, oh, maybe after the second international break, you're going to fall away. It's fucking April. Like, Put, no, go with some confidence, boys, and say, "Oh well, you know, I've got. Us, can, can we do that? Can we do? Why not? I, I mean, every single obstacle so far. Why not? When we done our preview show, and you know, I think me and Matt, I think we had us eighth between eighth and twelve. I not think me. you had us. I think you had us in the playoffs, didn't you? I said but top I two. Did you? I'm gonna have to watch I that. Did. And, I, and you two were saying, "Oh, I, such a hard I, league, the championship, I, yeah, such a hard a, league." That was wishful like, thinking, though. No exactly, one really knows. Exactly. That was wishful thinking. I mean, if anyone was really that confident, they'd have gone down the free bookies. For free. <laughs> they'd have been down the bookies and they'd have put at least a tenner on. You know, I know Gov's tight, but he'd have probably opened his wallet and dust would have flown out. And I mean, <laughs> blimey. But got a but of first. This, this is absolutely beyond anybody's wildest dreams. It is. We've won 11 away games now. 11 away games. I mean, okay, I know. it's it just, just blows me away. It blows me away. And you just think, I just love this team so much. You know, every single of them players are contributing. You look, we'll probably talk about Fridge. He's came in from the cold yesterday. Apart from one moment when he's blasted it in his own net, which we'll probably come to. I think he probably does know it's offside, hoping that he did. I thought he was he was really good. And he'll, he'll step out the team again on Monday and Burgess will come back in and probably, touch wood, that there's no injuries. Probably Fridge won't play again, Matt, this season, I don't think. You know, because that's just, just the way it is with McKenna. But you've got people who are stepping up. And Fridge probably knows he's not going to play Monday. But he's come in and he's had a decent game last night. He's part of a clean sheet, you know, and away we go. You know, three points tucked in our back pocket last night. Was it deserved? Probably not. You just have to you have to be honest. I don't think we played that great. And I think it wouldn't have surprised me. I think we, we chatted before, Matt. I think we said it, it could be a draw. You know, it wouldn't have, I think they'd drawn, what, four out of the last five, Blackburn? Yeah. It shows you what a you good know? result it was then to actually, yeah. to actually go there and, and hold on to that win. Because they they wanted three points, didn't they, to to kind of put a bit of a barrier between them and, and relegation. But I uh, look, Eustace said, didn't he, in the uh, in the in the post match, oh, we didn't get what we deserved. Well, unlucky, you lost one nil, and we will take it as we go with seven games to go. We'll but you, but they're so blinkered these managers. They're so blinkered these managers. If you listen to oh, yeah. John Eustace, the goal should have been awarded when Smolix is clearly in, impacting. I'm not saying the like he would have saved it, but he's in his line of vision. And then the second one. That's what they where he's got knocks, where it's a foul by the centre half when he has his arm on the goalie's shoulder, and he says that should have been given. McKenna comes out, no, two right decisions with this allowed. They are so blinkered because I know if that was the other way round, yeah. John Eustace have been saying, yeah. "Oh yeah, that was the right decision." If it, <laughs> yeah. it would have been, they are so blinkered. But then we should have had a penalty early on. I mean, Broadhead. Nathan Broadhead has got whiplash. <laughs> yeah, he must have. Yeah. yeah, but the lino I mean, wasn't up. Wasn't up replay, Jesus was Jesus Christ! I mean. This little that that could have been a massive part of the game, and we could have drawn, and it could have cost us two points. I mean, especially when you got I, promotion to the Premier League on the table, the millions that comes with it. There you go. There you go. David will win two hundred and fifty pounds. Why didn't you? I mean, you haven't mind? asked me if I haven't put money on it. You, you haven't actually asked me. We know you haven't. We know you haven't. We know you. Man, this man on my right hand side, as I look, Matthew Phillips. He can turn five pounds into thirty. Now, if you'd have let him, yeah, should have given it to me or given it to Sean, who keeps winning on the match bingo. Now, yeah, Sean, 
Sean's, and Sean, Sean and David are dynamite, obviously, at winning yeah, money. I, I, yeah. no, if I put money on it, we, we'd be probably sitting bottom of the table. Um, it, that's the sort of luck I, I seem, to, seem to bring to things. But you talk about the referee yesterday. There were some several flashpoints over the course of the game. The, the penalty one being it being a, the, 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 the biggest decision. I don't know how he's not given it. I agree with that. The, the Leaf Davis yellow card had us all talking in the WhatsApp group earlier because Matt is adamant it wasn't a yellow. I'm with Matt on this one. Whereas Richard Moss, resident referee, does but lose a lot of games. But, 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 but Matt didn't think that Harry Pickering was a yellow as well when he's pulled Imari back. I tell you, you should have got a bleeding yellow. Was that Scott Wharton? He could do what he wanted to Chaplin. Not a card flashed in his direction. But then, the, no. but then Massimo, how many fouls did he tot up before he got, he got booked? He, he did get booking though, didn't he? But he tied up Wharton a few. He did he, what he he, wanted. He, but I, I think Leif Davis, it doesn't matter to me if it's three minutes, it's 30 minutes in. That's a wild challenge. It is. He's come flying. It's hardly yeah, Ben Thatcher, Rich. It's hardly Ben Thatcher. I know he's not. I know he's not smashed his L, his um cheekbone. But it's a. It's all he has to do there, Davis. Really, he's just stay on his feet. He dives in, and for me, it's it's a yellow card. That doesn't matter to me. So Lee, Lee Bayless says he's lucky it wasn't. Red. I don't think oh, it's please. a red. It's please. not a red. A red Lee. It's not a Lee's red. Been drinking already. It's not a red, but I think really? it's a def- I think it's a definite yellow. And I think Pickering's won like two minutes later. Amari's done him with a trick. You know, and he's beating him and he got away and he's just dragged him back by shirt. That's a yellow card all day long. What in what world does anyone get booked inside three minutes of a yellow unless you're like Vinnie Jones got booked after four yeah. seconds? Well, Go yeah. on YouTube and look at that. Yeah. My, me and Martin both said at the same time, diff- voice voted each other nonsense, didn't we, Martin? Nonsense. It was absolute nonsense. Whatever happens to you know, you know, first Here five minutes. Go. This is let the them know you can nice. You can go through the back of the centre half can go through the back of the striker. Yeah. Just let him leave the calling card on him. Yeah, you've got yeah. that one. Not for you me. Have I, you've set a line then, haven't you? Because then you got to start booking everybody. I'm surprised it wasn't even a red card after that was the line yeah. in the sand of Leif Davis right. being a yellow. Which is what I said in the WhatsApp group. I said if you if that's the line you're taking, because part of your job as a referee is to manage the game. But if you're going to manage the game in that manner, Rich, you're going to be end the game with an abandonment. Not necessarily, because you can stamp your fury. Yeah, you stamp your fury on the game early. Right. We didn't know. We're did not he? having none of this. We're not having none of this. He was poor. He was poor for both sides yesterday at well. You know. Yeah. Everyone Matt hated him. Praise. Everyone hated him. Even even the Blackburn fans are booed him, weren't and they? He got, little, he got a little uh, standing ovation from the town fans at half time. It's I, I some of his decisions. It's like the 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 goal is disallowed where um, Halaki gets fouled. He seems he takes an age mat to blow his whistle, and that you wasn't the that. only that that wasn't the only time in the game when I thought he yeah you give yourself a little bit of thinking time. But he was like, look, Blackburn are going to moan. They lost one nil. If they'd have won one nil, they probably wouldn't have come out and moaned, would they? That's just that's just football. Yeah. I Do you think blame... he did what you did and lost the lost the whistle, lost the cards? He was cards. fumbling he around. Them. Them. He didn't drop them in the centre circle and couldn't find them. Fumbling bit around trying to find the whistle. Some, bit trying to some mud. I wouldn't blame Matt Will for the penalty though. I mean, that's the you see this all the time, which is why VAI is such an instrumental thing in the Premier League. The light, the assistant referees behind the action, mm. they're catching I think up. He should still, he should still see him because you see the defender goes like that, doesn't it? We've he's like the numbers. He's pulled him, and then he's yeah. like, "No, oh, I didn't touch him." Do you I know mean... what it reminded me of? If, you, if, you, if you're watching Gladiators on a Saturday night, when one of the gladiators comes off the wall because the the, 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 the the bungee just sort of pulls them back, it looked like that. Poor Broadhead got sort of flung Bing. three yards back in the air. It was like someone had pulled his bungee cord. Poor yeah, boy. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was. You yeah, know, totally. if that's a dive, he's in the wrong sport. He should be doing synchronized diving because it was ten all day long. So I don't know how anyone's not given it, but there we go. It wasn't given. Uh, someone in the chat says, uh, can we discuss Morsey? What happened to him in the second half? Went missing. How did you see Morsey's performance? So I thought that was a bit harsh from a comment in the chat. I'll try and find it in a second. Who said that? The Who said that? I'll try and find it in a second and put it on the screen. But how did you see Morsey's performance yesterday, Matt? Yeah, I thought he was great. I mean, what, what about the, the lad who tries to who fouls Morsey and tries to pick him up while he's lying on the floor? Got a death wish? Was it that, that lad who was up top, I think, with the neck toe? I think it was no. Don't, short don't, right. Doyle, was it? Don't yeah, it? Doyle? Yeah, yeah. Something like that. Look, don't be coming on this show and saying, no, oh, I'm about Sam Morsey going missing in the second half. He didn't go missing at all. He put in a great performance yesterday. Captain's performance. As we said on here before, he's like a talisman for us. When he, when he, like, I think you said it, Martin, when he hits a seven or eight out of 10, it was just invariably win. And I thought he was, he was great in the first half. Second half, it was backs to the walls. I spent most of the second half just shouting out the telly, clear it. Clear it, and it, that's exactly what it was. So, you know, 
support the team as a unit, not as as individuals. I thought I thought Morsey was brilliant as he usually is. I ain't got anything else to say about that. I thought it was great. All right. I, I, I'm more than welcome to comment from Martin that it was actually used the word vanish. Why was more? Yeah, wobble, Martin. Vanish. You're talking nonsense. Um, no, I'm more. <laughs> I'm more than welcome to comment from mine. All all opinions are welcome on this platform. Everyone sees football in a different way. Not much one go like that. Come on, have some respect. This is Sam Morsey, your captain. We have you on. Immense, immense full of opinions. We have you on. I mean, we in the wilderness oh, three weeks ago. Oh, play, but what when you weren't bothered by Maidstone when we lost if to Maidstone? <laughs> Every town defeat hurts me so much, other than Maidstone. The FA Cup. Maidstone. Yeah, but I, I, I've been there once. It was a nice place. Um, Rich, how did you, Martin Wheeler there? You know, Morsi vanished. Matt's obviously um, taking up the, the pom poms and cheerleading. For look, I, I wouldn't Thank say you vanished. Yeah. I just think the performance level dropped second half. But you do have to give Blackburn credit. You know, we, mm. we are in the championship, and other, and teams that when they're at home, they are allowed to have the ball. You know, they are allowed to put us under pressure. So surely not. What? What? Everyone just seems to think if she's going to rock up and win these games, right? That's why they play the games. They're not played on paper. They're played on the yeah. graph. Well, we have done this year, Matt. But um, well, it's because we've been so good. That's why I just think it's nonsense to say Morsey vanished. But I, I just thought we played didn't... six games a season. Look, look, leave poor Martin alone, all right? He's entitled to his opinion, uh, yeah, yeah. whether you like it or not. I wouldn't say right? vanished. I wouldn't say vanished. I, I just think that the performance level dropped a little bit, and we weren't in control of the game for the last for the last thirty five minutes. We didn't get a foot on the ball. Like we did in the first half, we controlled the ball, we controlled the possession, you know. Um, and then look, we defended well. We we defended. Look, Charlie Sutter on the screen. No player had a great game yesterday. Did you not see Connor Chaplin start and finish a move? These are not. Has everyone right, been all right? Bloody right, Easter game. Listen, listen, just, just just calm down. Just let everyone have, you know, have their. Let everybody have, have their. Have with Matt Rich when he when he gets himself excited, his voice starts yeah, Alvin, very, edging very towards high. Alvin the Chipmunk. Like you, like you. Very he, starts, he starts getting yeah. towards Alvin the Chipmunk yeah. sort of level where it's like don't he'll moan again. He'll have to go and put the kettle on. You have to go and take yeah, five again. Started. I might have to go and make a cup of tea. I just think that's nonsense talk. Have a bit more respect. No player had a great game yesterday. Come on. Look, is there's oh. many ways to look. Listen, there's many ways to win a football match. You know, we ain't gonna. Like gub team six nil every week, like Sheffield Wednesday. You know that's not that ain't going to happen. And if anybody no. thinks that's going to happen in the next seven games, it's not. And it has it isn't about for me. It isn't about how we play and how everybody plays at the minute. It's the collective that you get a result. And like I said, like Fridge coming in, he done his job. Mike spot on. Played ugly and won. It's still three points. We could have gone there and won four nil. You know, you still only get three points for it. Yeah, we dug a result out. Was it a little bit harem scarum the last 35 minutes? Yeah, it was. It was. You could you could tell in the away end, Matt, the last 20 minutes, it was an eerie place to be because you know the result that happened before in the day with Leicester. And we were one nil up and you've got something to hold on to. And you're coming that close now to the, the finish line. And it's only human nature that people are going to get a little bit nervous. Were the players nervous? They could be. They're human beings, you know? This is it's what no we have point, to accept. It's no point having you lot with all the points on the membership going to away games. You're going to sit there shitting it. Give it the tickets to me and Martin. We'll support oh, the boys. Oh, here we go. We'll be there. Yeah. We'll be I there. See, I didn't see you at Barnsley away in, in your fucking Avery coat that was full it's of bird shit. It's it's I, I couldn't okay. go to that game because someone phones me up from the moment and goes, can you do the full-time show? I'm on the okay. way to Oakwell. But listen, listen. We ain't playing well every single week. It's a, you're at the stage of the season where... That is, it might not be talked about much. If we get promotion, will people talk about a 1-0 win at Blackburn? Probably not. That's the first time, Matt, we've won a league game there since 91-92 when we got promotion. 11 games, you know? I think it was. Yeah. So Roman. we've not, so yeah, exactly. You have to look at little things like that. And we've not got a great record there, you know. Did we have a bit of luck? Yeah, we did. But we're not lucky Ipswich. We're not sitting top of the table because we're lucky. We're sitting top of the table because we're a bloody good side. Yeah, you know, and there's many ways to win a football match. There's many ways to win a football match, and I thought if we'd have conceded, everybody would have looked back and said, "Oh, it was the same as Cardiff. We've not learned our lesson." They would have said that. It's easy to yeah. say that for me, mm. but we went to Blackburn. They've got the top scorer in the league. Just don't re forget, everybody. He's got 21 goals. Sammy Smodix. Did he have a sniff? Not really. He had the chance on. I like he. That's the only one. But he's not really. He didn't really have a lot. So we've kept him quiet. We've kept a clean sheet. I thought we defended crosses quite well, which we didn't do at Cardiff. You know. So just be happy that we won. Just be happy that we won, and everybody didn't play great. 
No, but we win as a team, we lose as a team. Everyone just needs to stick together. And just this is why we've got so far because everyone's yeah. stuck together. You know, you're going to Blackburn, mm. 4,200 on the Easter Friday. I mean, traveling there yesterday was an absolute nightmare up the M6. But just stick, everyone's just got to stick together and just look. Who knows what's going to happen? Just enjoy it, you know. They should keep their heads. Keep they, did, Rick, they did learn from the Cardiff game because McKenna referenced it in the, the, the post-match interview. We watched the Cardiff game back. How do we defend crosses th- into the box in the 90th minute better? How can we clear thought, our lines better? I thought, they did. yeah, they've done that. They've done that well, but I, I don't want to be too critical. I've just said don't be too critical, but I'm going to be a bit critical. I'm going to be critical. <laughs> you've took Kiefer Moore off and everyone, there was people in the Discord yesterday morning, ah, oh, Kiefer Moore might not say, oh, we can start Ali al And I was saying, no, he's not ready to start. Now, I don't want to be harsh because he's done really well and he scored four goals, but it's totally different coming off the bench when you're 4-0 up and scoring a couple of goals against Sheffield Wednesday than when you're away at Blackburn, you're under pressure. He's a totally yeah. different player than Moore and Hurst. And it was no good. They kept smashing balls up to him. He couldn't win anything. Nothing would stick. Then he had problems with his boots. I thought he was really poor yesterday when he came on. I don't want to be too critical of him because he's still a young player and he's still learning the game, you know. But I just think he didn't really offer us an outlet. And this is why, for me, and I said in uh, the what in the Discord, I think, in the week, Burgess was never going to play for me with the travelling. I said that on... You said that weeks ago. That, yeah. He won't, he, he won't play because, for me, there's only two players in this t- current team who would play having played 120 minutes in the week or done a lot of travelling. Now, one of them is Kiefer Moore because I think he's absolutely key to how we play. You know, we've seen that since we signed him on loan. What, he's got mm. six goals in 11 games. But it brings so much more to the team. And the other one, Matt, is Sam Morsi. They're the only two players that I think would come back and play after playing on a Tuesday. Because McKenna referenced it after the game. He was watching the Wales game on Tuesday night and he was thinking to himself, Kiefer Moore won't be starting on Friday. That's what he said. And he mm. said Kiefer come mm. back into training, bouncing, and he wanted to play. I Good love that. Me. People come in, they yeah. want to play. He's just played 120 minutes. He must be out. He was out on his feet, you know. Massive disappointment in losing on penalties. They've gone out. Mm. He still came back and he still wanted to play. And for me, he plays every single week. He won't play every single minute because this is how it goes. But Al Hadmady, he's a young player. Yeah, well, Davis, yeah, possibly. Possibly. But he was another one yesterday who was ill. You know, and he put in a good shift. Well, he? He got, he was he's got the record. The yeah, he was. That's why he was he, subbed. Yeah, steady. He was struggling to breathe. I think. I think Harry Clark had had some illness as well. So, yeah. No one knows what should. goes on behind the scenes, Matt. This is what I'm saying. People are saying, "Oh, his performance wasn't good." Know. Nobody knows what happens. And Al Hammond, yeah. and and to be fair to him, he's got an abductor injury, and they yeah. said he's got to nurse that through till the end of the season. But operation yeah, for, for him. He probably in the summer. I'd have thought they'll have to look at that. Shows you how engaged everyone is, though. Like you can, you can like Kiefer Moore, Broadhead. Their Euro dreams gone in Germany. It's gone. It's burst the bubble. Yet they can still come back and you know um, have the mindset to get involved in our in our promotion run. And I, I, I think that's all credit to McKenna and the coaching staff that they've created this culture, this this winning culture. And this is why we're top. It's not an accident, is it? No, absolutely not. Some great comments coming in. Uh, Hamish agrees with you. Crunchy says, Crunchy is spot on. Al Hamidi looked like a lower league striker, but now he's an impact. Somebody we have he to did. attack. He's not a man. He's a young kid. Own. He's still a young kid. He's still a young kid. And everyone needs to just realise that. that he was great so far. Him. He was I playing in he League Two. Too. He's yeah. playing in League Two the back end of last year. And it's a massive step up for him. Now, he's now done he's well. Now he's looking on the door of the Premier League. I mean, that's a exactly. huge, that's a huge mind shift in itself. Yeah. And I said that on last night's show, unlike the Cardiff substitution, I I, I, I was fully on board with with taking more off at that point. Yeah. He looked like a, a man that had run himself into the ground. He looked like a man that had played a few days before. Whereas, you know, against Cardiff, I still feel yes, yeah, he's something to, some left in the tank. Now, I'm not behind the scenes. I, I don't know what's what. But, um, but yes, yeah, so you had to take him off. And it just sort of showed what's, you know, what we've got behind him. And should, you know, more, heaven forbid, go down five minutes into Monday's Fingers game. Crossed. And, Fingers crossed. Fingers you know, crossed. He's back on the grass. He's back on the well, grass. This is it. This George is Hurst. it. Man myth legend. Yeah, just could in time for the commentary towards... away, aka Barnsley. We could see him towards the end of the season. He shaking off there. Carl McFadzine. I can see it in my mind's eye right now. He, he wouldn't be shaking Carl McFadzine off because he plays for Blackburn Mine. Come on. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, who for him. I thought I was getting quite good there. I thought I was in a roll. I thought I know who plays for commentary. 
Well, I didn't see him last. Liam time. Kitchen. That's who would be shaking off because he done it <laughs> last season because he That's played for fella. Barnsley in that game. That's the fella. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Of course. Small world. Uh, right, Hudson's much better as attacking midfield than a winger, says Charlie. Points on that? Do you think do you agree with Charlie on that one, Matt? I know you disagree with Charlie earlier in the show. I don't, he, he's, he's just as good as on the, on the right wing, I think, because he's at he's, number 10. But Charlie, he's not a midfielder. He's not an attacking midfielder. He's either a 10 or a wide player. He ain't an attacking midfielder. Poor Charlie. I mean, come on. All right. He's not, is he? He's not. He's, a he's not an attacking on, midfielder. Get... He ain't a midfielder. Amari Hutchinson is not a midfielder. Go on Wikipedia and look up his position. You probably will not see yeah, but he midfielder. Played, he, he played Cam against Sheffield Wednesday. All right, all right. They're, they're not he, good he didn't play. Play. he didn't play Cam. He plays number 10. That's not midfield. That's a Cam. That's a, come on. That's oh, not... oh, get, 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 no, yeah, get out of here. No, no, Richard's Rich no. talking Ten. nonsense there. Ten's, Ten's, Ten's an attacking player. Ten's an attacking player. Cam, pick Cam up. is 10 all day long. All day on your way out, pick up pre-assist and not expect big goals and, and not turn for the me. off. All right, uh, Amari Hutchinson will not come anywhere. He's not under paid enough mid... FIFA like me, and Martin. This is he, the issue. He won't, he won't become under midfielder. Amari Hutchinson. He's an attacker, Martin and Matt. Central attacking. But where's, he, at, but, but where's he attacking from? Midfield. <laughs> Either the right or the ten, just behind the striker. Not in the midfield. Cam? Midfield is it? That's the cam roll. No, it's that's, not that's for the me. That's cam, isn't it? No. Yeah. He's not attacking from left back, is he? Oh, is he be a left wing back? Because a left a left back will never get you promoted. It's like <laughs> it's gonna come to that. Hey, fifteen assists for Leaf Davis. That's, that's phenomenal. That's phenomenal. Uh, it is special. Who, who held that Trippier? Mainstay. Trippier and league? Barry Douglas. Barry Douglas. Uh, Wolves. Oh, Wolves. Oh, Wolves is it? Barry Douglas. Christ, I've heard in a long time. But Trippier. A no relation back. to Jonathan. No relation to Jonathan Douglas, by the way, everybody. Not Did so. you like Jonathan Douglas, Martin? Were you a fan? I can imagine you liked his kind of yeah. shit out. Huge fan. <laughs> Sliding doors moment against the Canaries. Yes. That goal should have stood. Yeah, it wasn't offside. Yeah. Huge. I mean, what, what a different career. I remember he blasted yeah. one in a way at Rotherham in a 5-2 victory. Yes. The yeah, Daryl Murphy hat trick game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, now, there, there you go. There's a sliding door moment for you. We look at Douglas and just think he was useless. But if he'd scored a winning goal whatever against Norwich... Douglas like, Hyam Scoose, midfield trio. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Those yes. are the days. Right. Yeah. That's the engine room. The engine room. Yeah. That was the engine room. <laughs> yeah, engine room. Yeah. No, I'm not even going to go. No, no. Uh, Rax Max, how can you play in goal and do a good job? Have you seen him leap like a, a Giselle? Says Rax Max. That's what he says. Giselle. It means Giselle. Giselle. Yeah. Giselle. Giselle. You know Giselle. what it is. We know what it is, Rax. We know Giselle. what it is. Yeah, but he, he, I like Hudson yesterday. I thought, he, I thought he played well. Yes, well, he played decent. Good. He gave yeah. us an outlet. He gave us an outlet. And even second half when we were struggling, I think he was really the only one who um, it was like it was quite telling as well. He, he took he, Chaplin gets taken off quite a lot, didn't he, Matt? Especially away from were you, home. Were you? Well, we we addressed this yesterday, right? Because I thought Chaplin was was man of the match, and you've been quite critical of him away from home, thinking he doesn't step up. Yeah, yesterday we see him start the move and finish the move that gets us the three points. So, was you, Crunch, were you pleased with his performance yesterday? Yeah, I, mean, I thought he'd done well, but I thought obviously he missed the Sheffield Wednesday game. No one knows about like, his fitness. It didn't surprise me that he made them three changes at that time in the game, yeah, you know? Yeah. Um, Agreed, yeah. But he starts and finishes the move, doesn't he? Brilliant. Referee and does the... quite well there because he could have given a foul because he spins away. He plays a great ball, doesn't he? Out to Davis, pings okay. it back, and if you look at the shot, he like actually cuts across it, doesn't he? Because he sort of hits it, kind of toes it a little bit. There's a bit of a there's a great slow mo of it, and it looks as though he sliced it. Now the goalkeeper, I know he's made. Everyone's going to say he's made an error there, Matt. For me, he's it's incredible. all right when you when you slow it down, it doesn't look very good. But I think the way Connor hits it, I don't know if it gathers a bit of topspin when he's hit it. Bamboozled him. That's the problem. It's like, like a googly in cricket. It's like a googly in cricket. A googly, yeah, 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 a, little yeah, bit, yeah. a little bit of turn on the ball. Yeah, he like should that. have saved it. He had another one in the second half where Chap has had a shot. I mean, blimey, I could have caught that. And he's like fumbled that one out. So mm. didn't mm. cover himself in glory. But it was that was Chaplin to a T, wasn't it, that goal? Mm. Into the box? Yeah. Or just inside the box? Yeah, it was really good. You know, Brilliant. And it, it, I think it epitomised how we started the game, Martin, because I thought we'd come out really, really fast. Oh, sometimes sometimes yeah. we're a bit slow out, aren't we, out the blocks. Yeah. But we come out and we... We got amongst them early on and got a foothold in the game. And you think then 1 0, good start. Go and get another yeah. goal. I thought we could get, get another goal. But then I thought, 
they crept back in the game. I just thought we got a little bit slack. I thought we got a little bit slack and a little bit sloppy. And I think we probably got away with a couple, you know. We did get teams away with... Have, teams are going to have moments, though, against us, aren't they? You yeah, know, true. This is one division below... It's not, you know, not third division, one below the Premier League. Teams are going to have moments against us. And they do have, as you rightly said earlier, they do have the league's top scorer playing Cam. <laughs> Smothix. But I love that disallowed goal because we are there and he slotted it home and you think, oh, shit. Yeah. You think, oh, another poor goal. And you follow him as he celebrates, as he runs that way over to the Blackburn Massive, who there's about yeah. all 10 of them giving it large to the town fans. Oh, yeah. he pulls out the knee slide in the corner <laughs> and all of a sudden there's a big cheer. <laughs> oh, those guys flag up. Oh. The irony is though, Rich, I don't think Smothix was actually blocking Haladki's line. I, well, he I, jumps, I, you know, doesn't he? He jumps. He jumps. Now, is he in his vision? He probably the is. Gives it, then he might. They went on this sort of sky at half time, didn't they? The Lino gives it. After some discussion. Again, good yeah. officiating by the two, but by the two of them. He, he probably he probably is. He's in, it's a look, it's a letter of the law. He's offside. He's in the goalkeeper line of vision. Would we be disappointed if it was for us? We probably would be. I'll, I'll admit that. Mm. Did we did we get away with one? I don't think we did get away with one because it was was offside. But you've seen goals like that given. You have. Yeah. So, yeah. whereas uh, I think on, the Haladki one is soft. On the, on the cross. Yeah, soft. Um, I think he's got. He does have his arm on him. Mm. Well, that was Walton again, does isn't it? it? Walton again. If you slow yeah. it right down, like literally to you know. Yeah, I, I, I don't disagree with that. Of a frame per, I don't disagree. Know, I don't disagree with you. I, yeah, some refs would have give it. Some won't, and it does seem a lot of times there's a little bit of contact on the goalie. They're just oh, so absolutely. Protected. That's why it's given. That's why oh, it's given because yeah. you can't breathe mm -hmm. on a goalkeeper, and yeah. and that's and that's both ways. So you you can get on board with that because consistency. You you yeah. don't see any consistent decision there normally. Your referee is consistent for both sides, but for me watching it, I thought that was a get away with it moment more than yeah. the first for me. Yeah, because I just thought it was a very soft. Should we talk about the score? the real got get away with it moment? It, what was that like sat in the stands? Because it, it oh kind of happens too fast to notice, right? Or doesn't it? I don't know. Does, does, does the world slow <laughs> oh down? Oh, my God. I've got Craig like, waiting. If, I'll bring him in in just a second. If you're crap, watching crap, it, gone. anywhere you're watching it, live in the stadium, sitting on your sofa, in the pub, I mean, it was a... You, your heart skipped a beat because you think, shit, it's one all, didn't you? You think... Because he had so much time, didn't he? When the ball's rolled yeah. to him by Wolfie, he's got so much time on the ball and then he sort of... He just hesitates, Matt, for that split second. Yeah. And he's he is a bit lucky because Smodix has blocked him and he's done really well. And he's he's lucky that Smodix has had to turn and he if he's still facing the goal, mm. oh, yeah. he's just gonna stand up and he's gonna roll the ball in. But it's like Nigel Pearson said, it's still a great save. It's a really it? good save. To get it's himself really out of that. Save. And then you see after that, Edmondson comes around and he gives him a slap, and you see a laggy swearing at himself. Yeah. You see him swearing at himself because he probably yeah. thinks I've got away with one. It look, but this, if it had gone in the goal and everyone would have criticised him, I don't think we can be too harsh, Martin, because this this is the way that we play. This is the way that everybody plays now with their goalkeeper. You see Jordan Pickford in the week, the goal for Belgium, passed it mm. out, team and mm. bang straight back in the net. This is what this is what your coaches want your goalkeeper to do. They want you to be that extra player, don't they, with a feet. Mm -hmm. And Vasslot, he got. I think the one at Watford, didn't he, where he gave the ball away, passed it yep. to Matey, and he banged it in. Yeah. Other than that, he's not made... He's got away with two or three. And look, massive moments in the season. If that goes in, it's one all. All the momentum's with Blackburn then. And we would have found it really difficult, I think, to get back in that game. Because once you lose momentum, Matt, in a game, and it was sort of... It was one-way traffic a little bit. We had a couple of breakouts where there was mm. the Jackson one. Caden, yeah. Um, there's two with Caden where he pulls it back and now how many bangs it over the bar mm. and then the one where Sarmiento plays it and I think Caden takes a poor touch. If he takes a better touch, I think he can square it back to Sarmiento. Yeah, and then he could in, have a tap in there. But, yeah, you're right, yeah. But listen, we've got away with that one and uh, I think we all took a massive intake of breath after that, didn't we? Because you think, Jesus Christ. I think, I think you know? um, Lee Anderson made a good point on the on the full-time show yesterday, didn't he, Martin? Like, you know, he's got people sitting around him that are still kind of shitting it when we're playing out from the back. And we've been doing it all, all season against, you know, top level opposition. But expect play. Like I've said it before. Expect players to make mistakes. They ain't robots. I agree. You're playing against decent opposition. And Smodic has got 21 goals. 
if you take your eye off the ball a little second or you delay a second and you haven't delivered the ball as he probably felt like he should have done, hence the reason he starts swearing at himself, you're going to create a chance for the opposition. I mean, it was a great save. I think he saves you with his elbow in the end. But you know, don't be too harsh on these players. You're playing 46 league games. You're, they're playing a style of football that is seat of your pants. There yeah. is going to be errors. And we've very rarely if we conceded when we have, when we have made errors. And I can hear, I can, says there, Preston was one nearly yesterday. Watford yeah. was one. I can hear McKenna now, Matt. If that had gone wrong and they'd scored, he'd have come out and backed the goalkeeper and he'll say, I just want him to be more braver because yeah. that's, that's just anybody yeah. who says, oh, we shouldn't play like that. You ain't been watching town. You, you yeah. go, football's not for you if, if you, you're you not on board with it at the moment. And look, when we played football, I'm sure Martin, you were told, never pass across your own face of your own goal. Oh, yeah, always, Goalkeepers always. do that. Goalkeepers do that. There was there was a couple of times yesterday when Vass is out of his goal mm. on like uh, about I think the left hand side and he plays it across his goal to Twan yeah. and you're thinking, yeah. look, it's going to go wrong. Like you say now again, Matt, it's going to go wrong and mm. it's probably going to end in with egg on your face and but we've really, got away with it. But most... really, over forty six games, right? I mean, look, they do practice this during the week. Everybody, they don't just rock up on a Saturday and go, "Well, let's start <laughs> fucking about on the edge of the box." They do practice <laughs> it during Monday to Friday. <laughs> He's a training ground routine, you know, and and you know, ninety nine percent of the time it's been great. Only I think Watford and Preston have we conceded goals from those. I mean, that's two goals out of the whole season. But how many have we scored? Games. How many have we scored when it starts with a leg kick? Exactly, exactly. Yeah, a lot. There are two things I was t always told as a centre half growing up: never pass across your box and clear your lines. Those yeah. are two things that yeah. don't exist. I don't think in football. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in the McKenna rules yeah. change. Yeah. Totally in, in, in the yeah, in the in the wider football, you see centre halves pass across the goal. You see centre halves dilly dallying. You see goalkeepers doing it. it it's just a, a whole cultural or, or, or philosophical 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 change in football, which is as a spectator yeah. is good because you're seeing more football. You're seeing better football. Uh, but I, I on your point there about if it's not for you, etc. Rich, what I would say is, and I might be wrong on this. One thing I've noticed is it's it's either newer or returning fans that perhaps haven't seen town as often this year, that you're there for the first few times you've been back at Portman Road and you're seeing this. And it's scary. It is scary. Because even the, like even someone like myself who has been there every single game at home this year and seen every single away game, you got heart in mouth. So if you've well, seen we it the still, first or second time... We'd still be doing this, right? If we are winning 1-0 in the last two minutes of the game against Huddersfield at yeah. Portman Road and we yeah. need to win to go up, we'd still be doing this then. We wouldn't change how we play because this is no. what has brought us so far now. You're not going to stop. It's why we're top. It's why we're top. It's, it's the key ingredient in the cake that is why we're top. You take that out, then you, um, you've, you you probably lose X amount of points. And this and this it's is another top. reason why Halaki, and I know Mike was in the chat, Mike wanted him to uh, get rid of him and get Walton back in. Walton ain't capable of doing this. He might be a better goalkeeper in other aspects. He's nowhere near as good with his feet. And this no, is why no. this is part of this team. And part of how we play, isn't it? Mm. Out from the back with a goalkeeper. Yeah. And Walton was yeah. he was successful last season, you know. We're in League One, I get that. But you're not playing against such good opposition. But we've gone up a level. We've gone up probably two or three levels, Matt. You yeah. know, now. Yeah. yeah. Still not signed a contract though, the goalkeeper. No. Interesting that one. Shrieky mm. says only real complaint yesterday was the inflatables raining down at the front and the kids who from the back. Oh, which had the other I'm going to bring right. Craig in. I want a 30 second reply before we bring Craig in. How did an inflatable day yes. go for you, Rich? There wasn't as many inflatables as normal. And there was these three young lads in front of me. They must have been early 20s. Every time they come down, we grabbed hold of it. The lad in front had his um, cable for his mobile phone. He took it out of his pocket and he fucking popped them. And I thought, fair play to you. Fair play to you. We're not miserable because we took to, when we'd done it before, we were having a laugh and we were taking the piss out of ourselves because we weren't a very good football team. You know, this is the business end of the season. I ain't going all the way to Blackburn in a must-win game and fucking about with inflatables. I'm sorry. That's just me. I might be grumpy, but that's just my point of view. And if you wanted to do it and the kids, yeah, brilliant. I'll get that because they're there just to enjoy the day. I'm there to watch the football, support the team, cheer. And I'll see a message from a certain person from Sam Morsi. And he, I won't say what he said, but he, he wasn't for it. So I'm sure he was all for it. I'm sure. Everyone wasn't. loves it. Everyone loves inflatable day. Everyone does. Matt, you didn't you agree with it the other day. Even you didn't agree with it. No, I can't stand it. Even the, even back then we were shit. I couldn't stand it. I was I, no, I am miserable. That's the difference. I'm a miserable bastard. Matt, what do you make of it? No, I don't like it. it it's against it's my ultra principles. 
I've been what, what, what of fun and smiling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a serious <laughs> business. This. This is, you know, as I said earlier, stakes are high. Premier League football is on the table. We don't want to be seeing bloody blown up bananas or whatever it might be. What did you say, Rich? A unicorn? Lilo? It was a massive, it was that you probably see it on the telly. It was a massive Lilo came. <laughs> fuck it, I'll tell you what, if I hit you on the back of the head, Jesus Christ. It's a unicorn day. and it got the handles on it. I mean, the first time we done it, I think it was a Watford, I think, away, Martin, back under McCarthy, was it? I think that when MK we lost Don's game as well. When we lost 3 1. Mm. MK Don's the 0 0. That was inflatables, wasn't it? Yeah. They'd done it when Brett Pittman scored when it was 1 0. But I think the first mm. game I was at Watford when we lost 3 1 when Anthony Wordsworth scored. And they'd done it yeah. that day. Yeah, look, it was back then we were shit. We ain't shit anymore. So we don't exactly. need that kind of nonsense. Fucking don't, don't bother. Wordsworth scored to make it 1 1, and then we considered two late free yeah, kicks. Yeah, lost 3-1. Brilliant. I like, I like Tantony Wordsworth. Poetry yeah, Mick, in motion. Mick didn't rate him. Very good. I liked him. I liked him. He's a bit of a shit house. I quite liked him. Anthony Wordsworth was not a shit house. No, no, he was a good nest player. Cultured left foot, Matt. Yeah. Not not when he was at um Colchester United, he wasn't. No. Well, they, they, oh, South End oh, by the way, hate him. used to hate him when he was at Colchester United. They hate him. Talking to them, the Cowley boys got their first home win. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Four months after arriving. But come you know, on. Who's, they're gonna stay a smaller up, pitch. It's a smaller pitch they got there now. They're gonna stay up. Oh wow! Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Well, I mean, well look, look, they've inherited a squad. Don't be too harsh. Doing their best. Town look, manager didn't wait. Boris Green going back to the non-league by the looks of things. And Sutton. Shows you how far we've come. We've come a year ago. We were playing. Yeah. True. Right, Craig. You're here. Stop talking about the football. Hey, Turn Essex around. Massive. Essex massive in the house. You're on, mute. Oh, yeah. you're on He's on mute as well. He's on yeah, mute. Yeah, you're on. Let me down, Craig. Come on. How are you? Did, yeah, did you yeah, enjoy right. Inflatable Day? Uh, I weren't there. I watched it from home. You didn't so, make it. I thought I had you picked as being there. Shocker. Sorry, my mistake. Uh, it, no, I was meant to. Um, I was going to go, um, but I was penciled in to work next weekend. So it was right. I need to swap this. So I've swapped it. So I've worked this weekend, which frees me up now for uh, next. He's Saturday. got a very tough. So he's got go. a very tough. He might tell us in a minute. Craig's got a very tough day next Saturday. Yeah, it's not good, is it? No. Just on the, on the inflatable day, though, I have, apparently, I am going to end up with four or five inflatables at home. That um, Unfortunately, my son was there, um, sure. has collected four or five inflatables. What's he got? So, um, What's he he's got? got a couple of, ball, couple of balls. He's got um, the unicorn. Yeah, apparently there, apparently there was a big dick flying around. It was. It was a massive dick told. flying around. Yeah, yeah. So that's not come back. Luckily. There's a picture somewhere. I think I see it on Twitter. Something, Craig of like the fans and the big penis is in midair. It's a great yeah, picture. I think there was something. Someone had a blow up doll that had a pair of tits on it. Yeah, it was, yeah just family friendly stuff. Then. Standard, like, brilliant. standard inflatable. Yeah. 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 So I have to talk. I, to, I, I, I have to talk to a pair of tits every week, Craig. On here, so. I'm, I'm go. thinking more. You know, li- you know, you know, Lilo. What you got tonight, Matt? Beach What's volleyballs. That? No. A little bit of, of uh, Australian Merlot here. Oh, Very nice. nice. So from the cover of your own home, Craig, what did you make of yesterday's performance? It was cagey, it was nervy. I thought actually, before just to lead you in, I thought we started both halves really well. First half started really well. And second half, I thought we were the better team again. And that second goal then would have been a real killer in terms of Blackburn coming out of their own shell. But how did you see it overall? No, I pretty much agree with what's been said, really. I think, like you said, I think first half, Started well, and then we just we just sort of I don't know if the nerves kick in, obviously because it's it's so vital now, and obviously you have something to hold on to, and away from home as well. I think we've had quite a few clean sheets, haven't we? Really, I think only one nils away from home we had this season. It's got to be a fair few. Yeah. So QPR, Sheffield that, Wednesday, Bristol. So That's... they probably have that 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 in the back of their mind that they know they can do it. Um, Obviously, it felt very similar to the Cardiff game. Um, and you just hope that this time around, you're going to be able to see it out. And I think as much as it, cost, I thought it was very similar to the Cardiff game, I thought we did learn our lesson from Cardiff because I thought we, we made a lot more effort to try and stop balls coming into the box. And I thought Samiento was a great sign of that second half. He came yeah, on. Yeah, done well. The, ma- the amount of times he got back and stopped crosses coming into the box. And um, I've said that to uh, um, quite a lot this season. And um, I think Jamie R. mentioned it on Talksport. I think Luton, they scored away at Palace. 
He said, nowadays, teams, they're too comfortable to let balls come in the box. They don't do enough to try and stop the cross. And I think we've had, I think we're quite like that. I think there's times, even in home games and most of the season, like we don't do enough to, um, yeah, stop that ball coming in the box. Because I don't think defensively we're, we're great from crosses, are we? Coming in. It's always, it always seems a bit shambolic, a bit all over the place. You like, you don't feel comfortable with it. Um, but no, but like, then really, does the performance really matter? Not really. Got three points. And I think that's all that matters at this stage of the season. Like you've already said, it's, it's, still, it's all about the victories. They'll turn yeah. around in, at the end of the game and obviously they'll say, no, look, we need, we want the performance. But you just, it's another one ticked off. I mean, we're seven games closer to where potentially we could end up being in the Holy Grail, couldn't we? So we, we said on the show last night, Craig, I don't know if you saw it when we were discussing Martin, if Sam Gallagher had actually been playing for Blackburn, I, I, he would have given them a much more physical presence inside the box for those. How ironic. How in, ironic, you know? how ironic, man. Because you said it, Craig, on the phone to me yeah. last night. How, how ironic that he was injured or ill. Ill. You know, Ill. when town have, town have Ill. chased him all January. No, he was, yeah, he was, he's on well, mm. it's the time of the year. Colds and stuff yeah. going around. I've got a cold coming myself. It's, it's, it's a oh, no. Year. It's a turn into tonsillitis again, Matt. We won't see this guy yeah. for about three weeks. It don't matter anyway, because we're doing the show Wednesday <laughs> for Norwich. As it is. You are you are both doing it. You are, absolutely. Uh, just, the thing is, say. though, Craig, I, I think you're right about, you know, we've, we've said it before, performances or result, you know, points over performance rather. But I think it's different for the players. It's their, it's their job. They're in tomorrow or Monday. You know, they're looking at it Monday. They're looking at it Tuesday. They're, they want to get better and better and are always critiquing. For the fans, we talk about it. And then, and, then, and then off we go. You know, we're on to the next one. Whereas when it's your nine to five, Monday to Friday, so to speak, it's a different way of looking at it. And it, did, did you see the two interviews with Chaplin and Davis, where you know, particularly Chaplin, where the interviewer was sort of pressing him on the points and the, and the table, and, and he just kept coming back to performances mattering. Did you, did you see that interview? I, I thought it was right. It was I, yeah, the... I watched it. I thought I thought he handled the interview really well, and I think it's it's probably a testament to, to the group that they. And I think they do probably think like that. And um, I think that is a big reason why we are where we are. And I think mm. Nigel Pearce even commented on it, didn't he, after the game? He said that we don't look like a team that's looking at other people's results. We don't look at how other teams play. We play our way and then that is it. Um, and, and Chaplin said, Craig, I think he said it's our superpower. I think he used that phrase, didn't he, mine? About like looking at every, taking each game as it comes, it's our superpower. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Like did you, like they said, do you think last night on the, on the coach they watched the game? Probably not. It wouldn't surprise me if they didn't. Um, well, McKenna uh, said he was, he was going to watch the game back and then watch Netflix, I think I saw somewhere. Like, so, what's he yeah, watching on Netflix? Big question, isn't it? Uh, the only critique I would probably add is, and I've said this to Rich a few times this season now, is that um, it's very, we seem very toothless away from home. And that's my only critique, is that you look at the home performances to the away performances, they're like night and day, aren't they? So, like, if you look at, like, Cardiff now and now Blackburn, two away games, we haven't created hardly anything, really. We had more, more took his goal really well at Cardiff. It's a cracking finish. But you, you say that from the angle he was at, you could probably say it was a half chance. I wouldn't say it was clear cut. And even even yesterday, you look at, obviously, Chaplin's got his goal, but I, did, I don't really we had one clear cut opportunity. Um, the one for me that I think would have been clear cut was towards the end when Jackson went through. And it's an absolute rubbish touch. And um, if he if he'd had a better touch, he could have squared that back to Sarmiento. And um, he would have been, he had no one around him. He, he was and he, he, with his quality, you expect him to finish it probably from that distance um, with the time he would have had. But yeah, that's the only thing probably that I look at is, is we do we, we struggle to create good opportunities away from home. But any away any away wins have we had this season. So, we, we, like I said, we keep so many clean sheets away from home. We don't need yeah. to create sometimes a bundle of chances. So, one's enough. But I'm, I'm sort of being like, it's, when you talk about critiquing, that's probably like really high-level critiquing because, look, we're on 84 points. So You want total you football, Craig, don't you? You want total football. Uh, I don't necessarily want total football. I think you've got to, you, like yesterday, you've got to dig out results. Like I said, you can't win the same way every, every time. But there's... there's Sometimes you've got to try and create maybe a little bit more away from home than what we do create, but it's worked for us this season, so I'm not going to complain too much. It's, look, are we going to go away to three and 
hole and Norwich and create a hat full of chances. Well, I said to you on the phone, I said to Craig on the I said to Craig on the phone, like Monday's game, Southampton, I've got no worries about that. We look, we might lose it, but I think we're at home, we'll attack because it's what we do. I want us to go, I don't know what you two and Craig thinks. I want us to go to Carrow Road and I want us to go all out, guns blazing there. Because I think it's a derby game. And will it be cagey? Maybe. I think there'll be a few goals in that game at Norwich. And that's the way I think we can beat them. I think nine, we can nine. beat them. I think if we sat back like we did yesterday, second half, I think Norwich have got better players than Blackburn and I think we probably would have got punished. That's my honest opinion. If we were playing a better side than Blackburn yesterday, I think we might have come away with we might have come away with a point, but I don't okay. think we'd have won the game. And what I think going to Carrow Road Saturday, I want us to go out there and I want us to put 14 years, put it to bed, put it to bed. And that could be the catalyst that gives us that little bit extra just to push us over the line at the end of the season. Because I said to you before, McKenna's accomplished great things at town and he's nearly done everything. That's the one thing. And it's the one thing that we all want. Beat that lot. Yeah, but I reckon next weekend, Rich, is, is a weekend for final bosses to be beaten all over the place. Final boss. The final so, boss. So, you know, and I reckon Craig there, just, I'm getting a picture. I think Craig's a 4-2-3, GG Press, total football man. There's no, and... I'll tell you what, though, there is, Matt. There's no cam in that team. No, doesn't look like there's much shape in that team at all. But um... What is that team behind you? What is that? It's been on the same screen for about... 10 minutes. Football manager. It's football manager. Oh. To beat Stoke 4 2 away from home. Oh, well done. Nice. Who is your attacking well, midfield player? 5 2. Uh, it, it ended, I ended up the game. It was Harness. So he got a 7.8 and he scored a goal. So nice. So you know, yeah. be, 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 be know who I meant though, didn't you? With that attacking midfielder comment. So. Yeah, he's, he, he's a cam. It's a, it's a cam. cam. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Thanks for making my point. Um, yeah. <laughs> midfield, he's totally not, he's midfield. Midfield doesn't come into it. It's numbers now, anyway. Six, yeah. eight. No. I'd say yeah. an attacking midfielder is a number eight, <laughs> and we don't play with one. So yeah. there you go. No. Stick that I'm, in your I'm, I'm not since good. Douglas. Not since Douglas left. I'll talk about it tomorrow, mate. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a low down of manager and add a yeah. piece of work. We are Perfect. at the O2 tomorrow. Come on, Fabio. There you go. Right, Fabio. Craig, look, all the best for tomorrow. Enjoy that. I'm going to bring Stephen yeah, in. Good to see you, mate. All the best, mate. Take going to bring Stephen in in a moment for a last word on yesterday, and then we're going to look ahead to Southampton. Steve, you can hang around for the Southampton look ahead. A couple of comments. Uh, Norman, the difference in the second half when the ball was played up front, it didn't stick. Hopefully, Hirsch will be back soon on the bench. And Stephen, which I showed on the on the screen like earlier, but I'll read it out. If we win against Southampton, that leaves 18 points. I think we'll need 13 out of 18. Norwich will be massive. If we beat them, that'll be surely give the players that final. So if we put. take so Southampton, he's saying if we beat them, that'll take us to 87. And then another 13 will take us to 100, Matt. 100 points. I love how negative people still are. We still go way too evil to win 1 0. People are still. Hang Whoa, whoa, whoa. Negative. Mean, you got us to draw the next three games. Yeah, well, you know, I was putting the opposition. <laughs> there you the go. There you go. There you should be you thanking go. me. Because um, they, they listen to you on that on, yeah. on, on, on any podcast, don't they, Matt? I mean, listen, if we do beat Southampton and go to Norwich and get uh, three points, we'll be sitting on 90, 90 points going into the last four games of the set. I mean, that would put us into a huge position, I think. I think huge, huge position of, of, of you know, for getting promoted. 100 points, 100 goals. They're, 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 it's, it's incoming, boys. What uh, we got at the moment? 80 goals? 81. 81. We need two, we need what, 2.7? So, what, two or three goals a game? I mean, in which 181 go- was it 182 not, goals in two seasons? I I'm, not, I'm not really bothered about the 100 goals. It don't really bother me this season. It's nice points. to get it last season. Just, Just get, get the points, points in the way. Just yeah. have another seven 1 0 wins like last night. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All we need. You know, four years after saying it was 100 points, 100 goal season. I might finally be right. It might that, was finally we, be a... that, was, that was when we played Colchester United in a friendly at everybody. If you Look at this man. Yeah. That was at the start yeah. of got, talking to Watch from the start. You'll get that joke if you watch this from the start. Oh, no, I've got me hat on. I was thinking, yeah, this is going to be a great season. Yeah. yeah that went well. As Mick would say. Just before lockdown, we did the radio well, show. Well. And, and we, when yeah. we were still saying, you know, 100 points, 100 goals is still on. And uh, yeah, well, mm. there we go. That went well. And Aidy said, I nearly needed Stone Market Osher Pass. It was limbs at Blackburn. Well, it might be limbs <laughs> on Monday night, so you might need to give Freddie at Stone Market Osher Pass a call. 01449 613633. I go there myself. I used to go there myself. I can't get in, 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 in anymore, boys. It's so busy. I make them so much that it's like a queuing system. I want to go. I keep phoning. 
And it's like, nah, sorry, he's busy. Nah, he's Do you not know who I am? Do you not? He's like, is, he, is he the duck and me or people that jammer the phone lines? Yeah, that's that's right. Come on, I'm on, the gov. Do you know who I am? I'm Come big in Freddy. the market. Come on, Freddie. Like, we're, big, we're bigging you up about three or four times a week on it. Yeah. No, it's, it's, that's a great service, you see. That's how good he is. People keep mm. going back time and time and time again because he's that good at what he does. Freddie, Oste someone got osteopath. He's the governor. Give him a call. Osteopath, physiotherapy. He will sort you out, honestly. There's, there is uh, plenty of opportunity to go and see him. I joke, I jest, but he is a great at what he does. And um, he has me sprinting around Tesco, so can't all be that bad, can it? Can okay. it, boys? Can't all be that bad. Just go driving around the old uh, Tesco's. The old Other Georgia supermarkets Volta. are available. No, they're not. No, they're not. Not, not in Stone Market, they ain't. Um, well, they are. There's Lidl, there's Audi, and there's Nasda. But I don't shop in any of those. I've got to go to Sainsbury. Waitrose. Oh, yeah. No. They're no, we ain't got a Waitrose there, or a Sainsbury's. Waitrose, we've, really? we've barely got a uh, ice cream there, though. m &S. They want to put an m and up the road here, and I've already can put a complaint in. I'm getting old. <laughs> <laughs> You've put a complaint in about m and <laughs> Not about MS. Where they want to put it is on a residential area. It is going to cause nothing but travel issues. And yes, I'm starting to sound like my dad. And yes, I'm starting to sound like I'm 50 waiting to retire. Oh, easy. Getting worse. It's easy. Easy, boy. Sorry, Matt. Sorry, Matt. But I, I'm sounding older than I, than I did. Are, 10 you years the, ago. are you both at the game on Monday? You're, I know you're there, Matt, aren't you? Me and Mark Woods. Yeah, we come up early, get a few drinks in. Are we going to go to the uh, Thomas Wolsey? Are you going to pop down there? I think Mike wants to go to the the Bryce Bank. Is that is what is, oh, is get that? To near the there? Get to the Wolsey. Don't be so bloody. Come on, come and see your no, people. I've got to go with Mike's schedule. He, he he's he's got it all worked out. But we'll, let you, know. we'll let you know. Where's no. where's serving good food these days? Uh, the Greyhound. But you just near the pub you just mentioned. So we're uh, going to go to no no we're going good. to the the we're going to go to the Central Canteen on the high, on in Ipswich Town Centre. That's very good. The Dove. Yeah. The Dove's a good one. See that name puts me off a little bit. Like it makes me What's think of a school canteen. canteen. We got by the way, chocolate, chocolate crunch where you put your spoon in and it flies by across the, way, the canteen. By the way, floor. by the way, Craig wants another talking town night out. So if you two monkeys oh. can actually, I bet you find... don't. I bet you well, we don't. Won't go we, go there. we won't go there because we're not. Time. Yeah, we won't, we don't, we're not going to comment on that. <laughs> I wasn't even drinking, but we do want to have another talking town night out in the summer to obviously celebrate promotion. So yeah, would you look at this time? I'll be, I'll be there. I'll be. Whether Martin will be there, I don't know. But I'll be. He there. can't nail that guy down to anything, can you, Matt? We're still waiting for that Chinese. Where's me? Chi yeah, where's me Chinese, Martin? You promised me back in Leeds. Busy no man. He's a busy man. There you go. Look, Craig is it? He's in for it. Yes, Craig's there. Essex. As massive. long as you book it this time, Rich. All right. We don't want to have people turning uh, yeah. up to a, an Indian. Oh yeah, you didn't book it properly. Mike was still, still <laughs> tells me about this. So yeah, Lee Anderson was wasn't happy. Colin wasn't happy. We'll get a book properly. They, they went and got an Indian. They went and got an Indian and they actually ate it in the dove. In the dove, yeah. We Shit went to Isaac's. Pub. We pub. went to Isaac's and the food was mm, mm. not great. Good venue, yeah. Isaac's, by the way. Food, but not so great. We'll get it sorted out properly this time. Martin will be there. He'll sort it out. He's logistics. Logistics Lambert, we like to call him. Uh, not what you call me in the WhatsApp group. Anyway, <laughs> Steve, <laughs> Harry, over to you, my friend. Last right, word Steve. on yesterday. Uh, Who stood out? Who didn't? What went well? What didn't? Last word to you, Stephen. Break it down for us. Hold on a minute. Steve, you dec you've decorated there, haven't you? That's a different color. I, yeah. I have, yeah. It's a nice, nice color. I've frozen. This is, what you were this is what you was decorating in the evening. And I said, don't yeah. decorate in the evening. That's the daytime. Thing. I know. And I, th I, think, I think my Wi-Fi has gone dicky since I decorated because it's got right, it's got right weird. You know what I mean? Can you hear me? Yeah. Right, yeah, it's, you and we can see you. it's frozen my end at the moment. It's it's probably going to pick up again in a bit. So I'll, I'll, there we go. You know, it's frozen my end for a bit. So I'll, we got in the game yesterday. I think people are underestimating Blackman a little bit. You know, since he's just gone in, he's done a good job and he's kept them solid. You know, bearing yesterday, the only team to beat them was Newcastle Cup. Even Norwich went there, couldn't win. They only got a draw. You know, so they've tightened up a lot at the back and they're not easy to beat. So I think we have to, and we always, we also had injuries. We all, well, say injuries, we had illness, you know, we didn't have our best 11 out. So you, you've got to take all this into account when, when you're talking about, and we've not really had loads of great away days this season anyway. You know, you look at rather look at others' field, you know, I know that you could say there's mitigating factors there. We've had 11 wins, Steve. What do you mean we've <laughs> not had a great away well, days? We've had no, 11 I'm not, wins. I'm not, no, no, they've what? not been great. Come on, you're not saying, yeah, 
they've been solid performances against QPR. You know, probably Borough is about the only solid away performance we've had. Yeah, Watford. we're talking more than one goal. Watford, Plymouth. We didn't win by more than one goal. Still won the game. I'd, I'd say they're pretty good away I, games in the championship if you're winning away from home. Yeah, I know. And you've won that. 11 of them. Look, that's not the point I'm making. I'm saying we play a different style away than we do at home. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay, Andy Mill is where we've really... So, yeah, it's know, at, yeah. at, at the end of the day, you're going to get a lot more of these one-goal one wins. Yeah? You know, we tried it at Cardiff. It didn't work. We tried it at Bert Blackburn. It did work. And that was against the team who probably defends now under Eustace better than Cardiff. So I think yesterday was a very good result. You know, given the circumstances, given the fact that, you know, I think when Davis went off and Chaplin went off, you know, we were really throwing Ali to the wolves because the supply had gone. You know, Clark wasn't the supplier that Davis was, you know. Amari moved, because it was a very young attack, wasn't it? It was like Amari, it was Samiento, it was Ali, you know, very little experience up there with them. I know there was KJ, but he's not championship experienced, is he? You know, <coughs> So it was like you took off all your all your creative players, yeah, from the back moving forward, yeah, like Davis and Chaplin, and, you know, you like sort of saying like, well, carry on, carry on attacking, and we couldn't get the ball up to Ali and get it to stick, so we just ended up booting it to him because we couldn't pass it through Davis and into the middle and into in, into Chaplin and things like that. So I think it was like. We were always going to try and defend that lead as soon as those players, because they were they weren't fit. We know that. And more wasn't more. I, I said I said in Discord, more did. I'd, I'd be happy if more did sixty. You know, because that's all we. That's all he all had to play though, didn't he, Steve? From the start, yeah. I think. Yeah, he, yeah. De he definitely had to play. I agree with you there. He's always uh, going to do about an hour. Me, I comes. know people were pushing back when we were saying more has to start, saying he's not fit. Hey, I don't know how well he recovers. Yeah, you know, he might have recovered next day. He might have been fine. I don't know. You know. Only he knows that. And, you know, as much as I love Ali, yeah, I didn't want to throw him into starting a game where we were expecting him to score a goal. Not hoping he scores a goal, expecting him to score a goal. And when you start, you're expect as a striker, you're expected to score if you want to win. You know what I mean? <clears throat> and that would have brought a lot of pressure on him that he doesn't need right now. You know, he's got a four-year contract. He's the kind of player you're going to drip feed in. You know, as yeah, a sub. 100%. If we go up, he might even get a loan out back into the championship. You know, and all that people might turn around and say, shock horror, he's not ready yet. He's one of those players who's learning. You know, a, a bit like Sami Ento is with Brighton. He's come here to learn. You know, if we go up, that might be Ali next season. We don't know. I think there's another, talk about Sami Ento, Steve. I think if we get promoted, I think we've got another year option of him on loan anyway. Yeah. And I think. And I'll I take think, that. I think, Br I think Brighton would take it. I think Chelsea Definitely. would. I think Chelsea would with the Mari because it'll give them an idea of, of if he can cope in the Premier League. I think we could quite easily see him doing of the year coming back in the Premier League because it benefit Chelsea. They're not going to play him right now because they don't know what he'll do in the Premier League. So send him to a club where he knows. He knows the manager. He knows a lot of the players. He's comfortable in the surroundings. Get him used to the Premier League. There's more chance of him then playing for Chelsea. You know, they can make a judgment on him then. They can't make a judgment on him right now because he's not done what he's supposed to do. But yesterday for me, it was nervy. Of course it was. But like I said, you look at like when we played QPR and Armstrong hit the post and it trickled across the trickled across the line. Mm. A lot of away games have been nervy, you know. And the Rotherham one where they, they equalised it last minute, you know. It's been a lot of that this season away from home. I know we've had some good away performances, and that, that, that's credit to them. But uh, most of our damage has been done at home, you know, and fair play to, fair play to everyone because we play a different style. We're a bit more gung ho at home because they've got the fans behind them, they've got the crowd behind them, they've got the atmosphere behind them, and they just go for it. You know, you can't really do that away. And I'm not even convinced they'll do it at Carrow Road because if we do that, we could easily get rolled over. I don't know. Because the other team will have the impetus. They'll have to come at us. And I think same with same with Saints. They'll have to come at us no matter what. And I think that will benefit us. But the fact that it's a derby probably means that Norwich will make a game of it and the position they're in. You know. So that will probably open up to be an entertaining game, a bit like Southampton will on Monday. So yeah. 
Definitely. And that's what I'm hoping anyway. But if we can get four out of the next two, I'll be well happy. Excellent. And switching gears to Monday, I'll, I'll give you all a chance. I'll start with you, Matt. Would you make any changes from the lineup that you saw on Friday night? Um, no, I probably wouldn't, to be honest with you. It just depends whether or not Leif Davis is going to be fit enough to play. Uh, is Harry Clark going to be fit enough to play? They've been struggling with illnesses. You could see that they was all coughing, so I'm presuming it's been some kind of cold flu thing that, that, they've, that they've had. But, you know, I saw that team yesterday. I thought it was a good team. I like the, the attacking threat. Kiefer was in there. Can Kiefer go again Monday? Well, there's not much, you know, you, as you said earlier, Rich, there's not much option really, is there? I think he has to go. Uh, we'll not be getting out of, it, out of him, I don't know. But, yeah, I would, I would try and keep as close to that team as possible because, you know, it did, you know, in difficult circumstances and under duress, it, it got three points. So that speaks volumes for me. I try and keep One as close to that team as possible. Okay, one change I know you'd you'd make probably which is is Burgess. Yeah, I think Burgess comes back in. Hundred percent, he's back. Is in that the team. Is, is it the body of the work across the season, or is that because you feel he's a better defender than, than Fridge? What's your um, thinking? Probably a bit of both. Probably a bit of both. Look, I, we, I think we, I said on there and, and we referenced it earlier. He was. I don't think he was ever going to play last night because the travelling that he'd done. I think he only came back on. I think it was Thursday. Mm -hmm. You know, so he was on the bench. He obviously brought him on at the end there. But I think as far as it goes on. Monday against Southampton, and in, and you look at they got Shay Adam, Shay Adams boys, um, Adam Armstrong. You know, I think he's nineteen goals, so nineteen goals, yeah. They're prolific there, so I think I think Burgess comes in, and I think I do, I do agree. Like he's got that left foot, Matt. You know, he can do that diagonal ball, which yeah. Fridge can't do. You know, that's, Fridge that's has done really well, answer, and I think yeah. I think Fridge yeah. has done really well, and he's filled in when obviously Cameron was, was away with Australia at the Asia Cup. Mm. I think he done well there. Um, and I think he done well yesterday, but I think for these remaining games, I think Burgess is back in on Monday, and I think unless there's an injury, Martin in them two centre half spots, I think they probably play the remaining games. Even with Twan Zabi now, I think I, I see him playing at right back. I know you didn't agree with me that time when they brought him in, and then he played again at Plymouth. But he's done well, hasn't he? He's a bet. He's a. I'm not saying he offers so much going forward as Harry Clark. And if you look at that goal that was disallowed yesterday, boys, the one where Smollett was in line with the goal. He actually does get caught upfield, Matt, to Anzabi. He's out of position because that's where that yeah. ball goes. But I think overall, he's a better defender than Harry Clark. He's very Clark. solid. He's very yeah, solid. You might, you might mm. lose a little bit going forward, but oh. I think when you've got when you've got Amari on that right-hand side, I think he's a different player than Wes Burns, obviously, who's going to be probably out yeah. the rest of the season. Matt, look, if we get to the playoffs, possibly, you know, but hopefully we don't have to need them. But I think other than that, I think Masson... Morsi. It's the same as last season, Martin, now for me. You know, in them, that final run-in, after that Bristol Rovers game, he stuck does to that team. Does Luongo play for you, does he? After doing Definitely. 100% he plays. 100%. I thought he had a good game yesterday. I thought he'd yeah. he play well. And I think, unless there's injuries or illness, the only change for me, I think he's Burgess in. I think that's it, Steve. I don't know what you think. That's mm -hmm. the only change for me. That's the other one I'd make. Uh, I do want to say one thing for fair play to Edmondson. He comes in. Yeah, definitely. He puts in a shift. He never complains, never moans. And, you know, he just comes in, does his bit, and then goes out. You know what I mean? And mm. fair play to him for that, because you need players like that. You know what I mean? And, yeah, I think just Burgess, uh, Burgess coming in, I think the rest of it picks itself right now. You know? Definitely. And um, we've just got to get, for me, we've got to get these next, I think it's, is it three games? Three or four games? I think it's uh, Southampton, Norwich, Watford and Borough, is it? Yeah. And then we've got, we've got like a two-week break. And then we've got the final three. No, for all we know, George Ayers might be back for the final three. Yeah, yeah. Good shout. That's a good two-week break as well. You know, at the right time of the season for us. And nobody else has that, you know. So we've got like an international break where everybody's everybody's here. Everybody can learn some new things with three games to go, you know, where everybody's still playing games. And that could be crucial as well. I, so, I yeah. totally agree with Steve. That could actually that could actually work in our favour. I'd think I think Steve, if, if Hurst is he's obviously back training now and he's on the grass, I think if you're looking at that two week break, we've got no game, they'll probably try and get him a behind closed doors game. I would have thought well, they had one throwing him straight back in. The other one in this international break, yeah. isn't the in host yeah. looks quiet. So I'm pretty sure they're trying to line, they'll probably try and line something up for that, whether it's even if it's just a non-league or an under-21s game. But mm -hmm. they'll probably try and line some it up. But I think, you know, I think I reckon that's what they're targeting. 
if he's on the grass, I think they're probably targeting after that two week break, you know, maybe start as a bench option. And then you have like him and Ali on the bench, you know, to come on, brilliant. you know, mm. with more because Ali could always play as a wide right to cover, yes. you know, mm. in case he needs to come on, you know, or wide left. So Don't you've be- got an extra attacking option. Don't be surprised, Steve, if you see a George Hurst goal in one of them remaining three games. I just, oh, I just think, I and I, I just think he's <laughs> look. People, people need to remember what he done in the first half of the season. You know, Keith has done brilliant since he came in, but George Hurst played a massive part, didn't he, in that mm. that first that half of the season mind, before the Leicester yeah. game? Yeah, exactly. But it's mind, great yeah. to have him. It's great that he's back the on the grass. Go- I was watching the goal against Blackburn. It was brilliant. You know, absolutely wonderful. Just mm. slided it past long, long ball from Burgess, slid it past the keeper, and he's off. You know, it was wonderful. You know, we need more moments like that. Steve, you watched that Leeds pod I, I was on in the week, didn't you? Who were they? Who was that? Martin, who was the, the Southampton guy who's been on this show at the top yeah. of the season? Who was he bigging up? Who are they loving? Flynn Downs. He's going to be oh, playing yeah. in the centre of oh, park, yeah. isn't he, on Monday? When when he's not in, that's it. They've lost. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They were like, you've got, they were, Armstrong, they were, you've got Che Adams. You've got well, all these players. It's like, when he's not there, you've lost. Yeah. They were like, totally bigging him up, aren't they? So, you know, to be honest, I, like I said, I'll just, I'll just have a quick point about the running. You know, I think Southampton are in trouble. I think what they've got to do is a lot. I know yeah. people say they've got two games in hand, but two games in hand is not two games in hand. The team won them. You know, the team won them. Yeah. It's just two games in hand. You could they're Leicester, with... they're Leicester and Preston as well, Steve. Yeah, two games in hand. And same as Leicester. I was, I was looking at their fixtures. They've got Millwall at home. You know, they've got Norwich. You know, West Brom. They've got West Brom. Southampton. It's not easy games. You know, especially after losing to Bristol, you know, yeah. you could argue all three of them could say could take out, at least get something out of Leicester, you know. And they were going, oh well, we'll be all right when Verdi's back. Well, Verdi was back yesterday. He looked like he had, he, he, looked, he, looked, he looked clueless. You know, he was missing <laughs> sixty-six yarders. I'm thinking, if that's your best player, yeah, just give up now. You know, I must admit, must say though, yeah, if there, were, there was a chat on Discord about goalkeepers, I like that lad from Bristol, Bristol City. He's good with his feet. He's a good shot stopper. You're the old Leary lad. You know, <coughs> he'd be, if we went up, he'd be someone I'd look at. Okay. Do you think that? Great. Do you think all the pressure's on Leicester, Steve? Oh yeah, hundred percent. Because we're not expected to do anything. You know, even now we're not favourites. You know, everybody okay. talks about Leicester in Leeds. You know, even though as, as that stat you showed, since February, you know, we were like ten points behind Leicester. Now we're like two points ahead with a game, in, and they've got a game in hand. You know. <coughs> It's like totally reversed in like a month, you know. It took four points from twenty-four, Steve. But they're still talking about Leicester and Leeds going up. Let them talk about Leicester and Leeds going up. Yeah. You know, quite, quite now, I'm, I've been watching a few Leicester pods. Leicester is shitting themselves. Pardon the French, but they are. They are concerned as hell because they've got FFP charges over their head. They're going to have to have a fire sale. You know, they already can't sign contracts. You know, because they've got a transfer embargo. They are bricking it. If they don't go, they've got nothing. They could be here for decades. And they know it. Oh dear. All right, Steve, score prediction for let you go. Score prediction, please, Monday. I'm going to go 3 1 to Ipswich. Okay. Because I think Southampton can get it. You can get it, Southampton. You know, I know it was a, it was a dodgy, you know, it was, a, it, was a, it, it looked like a comfortable game for Southampton, but just don't score enough. You know, and they're always open to concede a stupid goal like they did on, on, on Friday. You know, Nobody concedes a stupid goal at home to Middlesbrough. I know we've not played Middlesbrough at home yet, but we couldn't concede. They couldn't score past us at their ground. So, how the hell you concede against Middlesbrough at their ground? You know, like Middlesbrough's out. I honestly think Middlesbrough out. I could, I, you could probably argue Hull's out of it now. For me, I think the only two teams who are in it, press it an outside shot. The only two teams is Norwich and Coventry. And Norwich have to start yeah. winning because Coventry's mm. got a game in hand on them. You know, mm. so if Co- Coventry win their game in hand, they're a point behind so not they're chance. gaming in though, Steve. Who's they gaming in against? Ipswich <coughs> Town. Is it? So they won't be winning that. <laughs> All right. So they can do us a favour. We'll do them a favour. Yeah. There you go. Cooperation. They've still got to play Leeds go. as well. Leeds have got to go to Coventry as well. Yeah. I mean, there's yeah. massive games all over. Twists and turns. Oh. The thing is, though, there's massive games all over, but I think the hardest ones are the ones when you play the bottom. Because when we play Leicester or Leeds or teams at the top, there's not as much pressure on us to win because they're up there. Even Norwich for, to a certain certain degree, you know, they're up there, so you, they're expected to be doing well. It's when you play the, the teams down, mm. down the bottom, 
you know, and that's where most of the shocks have come from. Like the Bristol City's beaten Saints, you know, uh, what's the name? Beating Le sorry, Bristol City beating Leicester and Saints draw, uh, drawing to Middlesbrough. The, the low, teams lower down who are, who, are either, who are either fighting for stay up or probably not going to go anywhere, they're the ones that I think are hardest right now. Okay, but Steve. That's, all right, guys. Love hearing no, love hearing from you, Steve. Absolutely love hearing from you. I'll be back on board well decorated. So good Cheers, man. Steve. We appreciate it. All, all the best. Cheers, and uh the chat was loving Steve's comments throughout the show. Always talk sense. Some people said um I'm gonna go as far as say always talk sense. Always is a big word there, but it does talk sense as our Steve. Talks a lot of sense a lot of the yeah. time. Agreed, yeah. Hmm. Brings it back down to earth and um Saints then. So it seems a long time ago since the first time we played them in the howling wind and the rain and we, we beat them one nil and Amari was back flipping yeah. and Russell Martin was under pressure and all of that. Massively yeah. under pressure. He was massively right, under yeah. pressure that night. I think that was like four yeah. defeats. That was their fourth defeat in about seven games. Yeah. Mm. They lost the game after that as well, I think. And then they went on the huge run. Yep. Historic club, historic run. Mm -hmm. um, you've discussed the team. You've thought, you've said who you think will play. The last question of the night is a score prediction for Monday, 5.30, I'll, live on Sky. I'll be amazed if there's not goals in this game. I would, like, the way Southampton play, you know, they're pretty open. I'm looking forward to Downs against Morsi. I think that'll be really, really lively, yeah. mm. you know, in the middle of the park there. They've got some good players. Let's not mess about. You've got Armstrong. Front pretty very good. Front pretty yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. What's his name? Suleim Suleiman, I think, on the left-hand side. Yeah. They know, where the, Euro. they know where the goalie is, yeah. but they've got that Gavin Bazuna in goal, and we all remember him from Portsmouth away, you know, <laughs> got do. robbed by Macaulay Bond. So I think we can get at them. Yeah, I agree. I just yeah. think we need to we need to switch on at the back. You know, if we defend properly, I think we can win the game. Look, we're gonna have a big crowd sell out again in front of the cameras. We'll know what Leicester have done. I think there'll be goals. I think it'll be nervy. I think it'll be another one where you come out the ground. Shaking your head, but I think we'll come out shaking reds after a. I'm going to go town four, Saints three. Oh, I think there's nice. going to be goals, and this is going to be one of them games where you're thinking, blimey. Okay. Oxygen. All right. <laughs> yes. That, that will be an absolute bouncing post game show from the feet of Sir Alf, if that is the, mm. the case. Um, Matt. Your score prediction. Well, I mean, look, I, I, was, I was going into this game thinking we'd probably draw it, um, probably 1 1, but. Have you seen what I saw out on on against Blackburn? Um, I can't see anything other than an Ipswich win now. I just, I just feel like Rich says under the lights, the crowd, the the fact that we get on the front foot of Pullman Road. I think we'll beat. I think we'll beat them two one. I think if Borough can go to St Mary's and get a one one draw, there, I think it, them coming to, off the back of that to Pullman Road, I think we'll beat them two one. And all, all the momentum is with us again. It's it's still like the, the first goal in these games at this stage of the season. I think are absolutely massive. You know, yeah, I think if we can get yeah, get in yeah. front. Yeah, um, I've heard that. It's not going to be, year. yeah, but it is, isn't it? We you want to get in, get in front against Southampton, like, and then when you go to Carrow Road, you want to get in front there because. But then look, we've won a lot of points, haven't we, Martin? Was it twenty eight? I think from losing position, so we know we can do it either That's way. Yeah. But look, just just hang in there, stick with them. You know, if if we go a goal down, if we go two goals down, we've clawed it back before. We know we've really? got it in us. We know we've got it in us. And even if we don't get the result, the result against Southampton, we're still in a brilliant position, you know. We just just enjoy these final seven games, you know, and it could end. It could end. These lot, they'll go down in Ipswich Town history, Matt, this team. Yeah. Whatever happens yeah, this yeah. season. Yeah. You know, I said I said a few weeks back, immortality for this lot. Sam Morsey, the best captain for me since probably Matt Holland, you know. Might not be the best players. Leeds, Leicester, Southampton might have better individual players. I don't think collectively they've got such a good team spirit. No, great, yeah. Uh, we all stick together and they certainly haven't got as good a manager as Kieran McKenna because he's the best best manager outside the Premier League and he's a better manager than a lot of play, a lot of managers in the Premier League. Yeah, you know, great. He yeah. is, and we, we all know that. Mm. Let's just enjoy it and get down there, get behind the boys Absolutely. and get them another three points and then... We can look at we can look forward to Saturday then, Matt. We can <laughs> bring that yeah. on. Yeah. And Colin More. says, Rich, you're a bit emotional tonight. Oh, I am. Because it's it's within touching distance. See, yeah, it is, yeah. It yeah. is. The promised land. I'll tell you for 
I'll yeah. tell you for a Premier fact. Premier League football. I'll tell you for a fact. If we get promoted, I will ball my eyes out. 100%. Good. No, will I? Um, I- I'm not here next week because it's Norwich week and I always take those weeks off. Um, so no, <laughs> <laughs> these two. We'll these be running two, the show. <laughs> we'll be running the show shellacking. as we build up to Shellacking, shellacking City. City. Um, so I'm going to end on a question which I don't normally end on, but thank you for watching. Ooh. Like and subscribe and all that jazz. Charlie says, do you think we will beat Norwich Gov? Now, you know I don't like to give predictions. You know I don't like to give scores. I don't like to, do, you know, I like to remain impartial, but we are absolutely going to thrash them. We are absolutely going oh, to I love that. To town. It's time to end all those years of hurt. It's time to end all the... It was switch how they spell it with one and five. It's time to end all of that. The banter era. The decade of domination is coming to end. The shellacking's coming. And it's even better now because they're not walking into it on Sunday, Saturday rather, full of, oh, you know, we're so rubbish. Fark is this, fark is that. I'm not fark, sorry. Uh, Wagner is this, Wagner is that. They're walking into it with confidence. They're walking into it thinking they're going to win. Oh, how sweet. Oh, how sweet. Even better. I'm glad we didn't beat them, you know, you know, back there because that's even more sweeter when we go to Carrow Road and they're full of confidence. Because they were like that. They were under disarray. They were, oh, it's your best chance. Now they'll be saying it's there. Ah, uh, no, no chance. Well, we'll see. Here we go. But enjoy your week, boys. Enjoy Southampton first. I just want to get that in because I'm not going to be in. I always miss miss the fun. So I thought I'd say it. But there we go. Yes, Town are going to win. Enjoy your week and three points for coming Monday as well. You heard it here first. You're if I